Hello, my name is Ozan and this is a tutorial video of my modular sci-fi environment asset pack. I'm going to show you the assets included in this pack, show you how to use them and tweak several parameters you're lacking. Let's jump in! Now, this is the overall file layout. Each file contains the relevant assets and their names accordingly. Let's check the mesh folder. Here, you can see all of the meshes are subgrouped into categories. You can see ground files, sorry, ground tiles here, the wall tiles here, for instance, and so on and so forth. The ceiling tiles are the ones located here. Door meshes are the ones here and at these separate door slides. Ground meshes are here. Wall meshes are these ones, and everything else goes under the prop category. Let's jump into materials. Materials. The materials in this pack has a universal layout and each material is set exactly the same way. Let's check this one for instance. Here in the material instance you can see several tweakable parameters. These parameters are true or false for each and every single asset and material in the spec. Here, you can change the different emissive tints, like here, these ones, and here, some other ones. You can change the overall tint. You can tweak the emissive intensity, the metallic intensity, roughness intensity, and most importantly, you can change the texture, resol texture resolution here. For texture resolution, values less than 1.5 indicates 1K texture resolution, whereas values above 1.5 indicates 2K resolution. And this is true for each and every single material in this pack. Let's see the master material here. Now this is a rather simple shadow graph. This part is where you can tweak the emissive parameters. Here are the emissive, different emissive maps, different emissive tints, and here is the emissive intensity. Here you can see the texture maps, maps on top are for 1k maps and on the bottom are 2k maps. Here 1k, 2k. And this part is the part that lets you to the resolution. Let's take a closer look here. As you can see I use an if node with a constant of 1.5 as B and a scalar parameter that lets you tweak the resolution on A. Now for values less than 1.5 the 1k map is used. For parameters sorry for values more than 1.5 the 2k maps are in use. And this is true for every texture map as they use the same scalar parameter and the same constant. And this is again true for every material in this pack. Here finally are the overall tint parameter and metallic and roughness intensity parameters. The shadow graph is the same for every single material. There are, some, uh, uh, there are some meshes that has more than one material and this is true for all of them. For instance here, exactly the same parameters with the same names. Obviously there is only one uh, emissive mask here. If, ha if it had two, it would be the same as the other one. And 
Again, this is universal for each and every single pack in this, in every, each and every, every single asset in this pack. Let's jump into blueprints. Blueprints. There are two blueprints in this pack, which you can find here under the blueprints folder. The sliding door, obviously, is a door blueprint that can open and close the sliding doors as you move into the collision box and move out of it. Now, there isn't an audio file included in this blueprint, however, there are some audio files here and there are two door audios one for door close and one for door open I haven't used them in this blueprint but you can use them if you want or you can use your own audio files however you like the other blueprint is for creating cables with the cable spline tool you can just drag and drop here and it lets you create modular cables in your scene. You can tweak the spine points. You can Alt, press Alt and drag to create additional spline points. And you can create as many spline points as you want. And fill your scene with modular cables. These cables are created with the same tool and this one as well. Let's check the inside of the blueprints. Before, I'm using my own cable mesh, but you can use your own mesh if you like. If you like, and you can come here in the construction script, and here is add spline mesh component. You can click here, and in the details pan, you can see the static mesh section here. You can drag and drop your own meshes here and use the spline tool with your own meshes however you like. Let's jump into particles. As for particles, you can navigate to particles folder here and in the particle systems you can find all of the particles that I created for this pack. Here is the fireflies and drag and drop spark burst is an electrical discharge particle you can see it in the scene here sparks continuous is another electrical discharge particle here you can see it in use steam ground is for these tiles specifically I use them like this at least you can use them however you want and you can see them in use here steam leak I created this particle specifically for the pipes here. here. And finally, steam vent is another steam particle. I created it for ventilation systems, and I'm using it with the door mesh. But if you want, if you have a ventilation mesh or system of some kind. You can use this particle with that as well. And that's it for particles. Finally, I want to talk about briefly about the audio files in this pack. There aren't much audio files, but I have some useful ones here. There's an ambient sound, a door close and open <coughs> sound. They are here, but I didn't use them with the uh, door blueprint. There are two metal footstep voice uh, noises. 
I haven't used them too, but they are here if you want to. Some sparks, some additional sparks, and five. And to showcase them here, That's it for audio. And this is the end of the tutorial here. I've covered everything that is of importance in this pack and I hope you enjoy using them. Thanks for checking out my pack.